So this is an Instagram video currently being shot on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm standing in front of a lamp. This is indoor. And uh, let me know how the quality looks. Now this is an Instagram video currently being shot on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm standing in front of a lamp and uh, this is sort of an indoor situation I'm in my studio. Let me know how the quality is. What's up guys, we are back with a quick video. This is going to be a social media camera test comparison between the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We'll be looking at Instagram, Snapchat, as well as a clip from TikTok. Now just a few more days till Samsung's mega discount on the S24 Ultra and the other S24 series model ends. So in case you haven't checked out the offers, links are mentioned in the description. First up, we're gonna take a look at the app interface and features for each phone. Starting with Instagram, we have pretty much the same UI as well as UI features. Nothing is really missing on either platforms. We used to have some features exclusive to iOS, but everything is now available on Android as well. But things are slightly different in Snapchat because in the features tab, I can see that the iPhone has stable video option, which actually makes a difference. You're gonna see later in the video. Now we do have a 0.6x button on the S24 Ultra. You can just tap it and get into ultra wide angle sensor, while the iPhone requires you to, you know, pinch out to access that ultra wide mode. Now something weird on the iPhone is that night mode doesn't actually work properly. I'm not sure if it's just on my phone. If you have an iPhone 14 Pro Max or 15 Pro Max with Snapchat and night mode, comment below if it actually does what the S24 Ultra is doing. You can see how it actually processes photos depending on the scene. It goes very hard and makes sure that you actually get a night mode photo rather than a quick processing on the iPhone which doesn't make any big of a difference. Now starting Starting with some image samples, I'm just posing in front of my window, which is getting a lot of light. So it's like a favorable lighting situation. This was shot with Instagram app, but you're gonna get pretty much the same quality with the Snapchat as well. You can see some fundamental differences. iPhone with a more of a warmer, balanced look, while S24 Ultra is a lot cooler. Plus my skin looks a little bit sharper, although I kind of prefer the look of the iPhone. Now this same trend continues with the video on both phones. So so shooting a video with front camera, you can see uh, once again, skin tone difference, uh, warmer on the iPhone, colder on the S24 Ultra. You can also see how iPhone is a bit soft on my skin, which is again, a more favorable compared to like a sharper skin on the S24 Ultra. Now we start to see some differences in low light situation. You can see iPhone is coming up with a brighter image with the Instagram camera compared to the S24 Ultra. Again, this was shot without the flash option, the screen flash. So you can make things a bit better if you use the screen flash. Now here we have a low light video on both phones. You can see how they are handling the skin colors as well as as the skin detail, brightness in overall face area as well as in the background. I gotta say, apart from the colors, there's not a huge difference. Notice how my face not only looks brighter on the S24 Ultra, but it also has a bit more detail if you look on my left cheek. But overall, pretty close, not a huge difference. Now next up, we're gonna switch to the back camera and that's where you start to see more differences, especially a little bit better quality as well as a stable frame rate from the iPhone 15. Pro Max. Uh, if you notice the detail as well as, like I said, the FPS when I move around, uh, that is definitely better on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now I shot another indoor video with a lot of lights turned on and uh, with a lot of colors going on. And uh, you can see how the S24 Ultra is doing a bit of over sharpening if I pause on this frame and if you can notice the text. So it's not a bad clip, but compared to the iPhone, which has more of a natural look, I can see that uh, system is doing a lot of heavy over sharpening in this particular clip. Now what about zooming? So you can see how both phones will access their respective 5x camera lens. However, you can zoom a lot further on the S24 Ultra compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now moving on to Snapchat, again, similar kind of situation as the Insta camera, not much of a difference. Taking a photo in good lighting, we have again, difference of the colors, but detail looks pretty much on point on both phones. We start to see some differences 
focuses in the low light situation as you can see in this particular image s24 ultra is clearly sharper and when it comes to even darker situations you can utilize that night mode on the s24 ultra which for some reason isn't working on my iphone 15 pro max with snapchat again it might be working on yours but it makes a world of a difference like i said snapchat night mode on the s24 ultra goes proper hard to make sure we get a usable image you can also use this night mode on the back camera which is again a bit sharper compared to the iphone 15 pro max now shooting a front camera low light video with the snapchat app again pretty much the same result as the instagram camera both have quite a bit of noise going on i think the iphone is still slightly a little bit better uh, but samsung has made my face brighter and you can see a bit more detail on my face so let me know what you think about this in the comments below now snapchat accesses all lenses on the s24 ultra but because it doesn't have that stabilized option it can feel a bit shaky if your hands are not that stable switching to the iphone you can see the video instantly gets a bit brighter as well as a more stable when you zoom in uh, thanks to that stabilized video option now coming back to the normal indoor lighting situation you can once again see the same thing as the instagram video which is the over sharpening that is going on the s24 ultra again it's not a bad video but the iphone looks better to my eyes if you notice batman it's just a little bit over sharpened on the s24 ultra now final low light snapchat video on both phones uh, kindly ignore this text on the s24 ultra but pretty much if you look at the quality of the video not only we have better frame rate on the iphone 15 pro max we also have a little bit more detail as well in the whole scene compared to the s24 ultra again let me know what you think about this in the comment section below now finishing off with the snapchat zoom on both phones first we have the iphone 15 pro max you can see snapchat actually allows us to zoom quite a bit further than instagram as for the galaxy s24 ultra we have that sharpening look going on but when it comes to the zoom definitely quite a bit of a zoom you can do you can go so far and uh, if you notice if i switch the lenses there is a bit of a exposure jump for a second that's something i notice not every time but in this particular situation okay bonus round we are shooting this in the tiktok app so this is galaxy s24 ultra on the left iphone 15 pro max on the right uh if we just look at the frame rate in the background so that's it for the social media camera test comparison. I would say iPhone still has that edge over the S24 Ultra, especially when you're shooting video in Instagram or Snapchat in low light situation. Selfies are fine in most situations and surprisingly you get sharper result on the S24 Ultra when it comes to Snapchat. Even when I wasn't using night mode in this particular example, uh, I saw more detail on the S24 Ultra. But my advice to anyone who wants the best quality, even for the iPhone users, just use the main camera app unless you have good lighting situation then you can use the social media apps unlike apple samsung's default camera has similar functionality as the social media camera apps for example even when you're shooting high quality 4k 60 fps videos you can switch to the front camera which is one of the big reason why i would or anyone would shoot in the social media camera app because we can tap and switch between back and front cameras i wish apple also add this functionality to their main camera app but currently it's it's not available so there we go that's a quick social media camera app test between the galaxy s24 ultra and the iphone 15 pro max again built-in camera apps are still going to be better especially on the s24 ultra let me know your thoughts in the comments below there's only a few days left for samsung's pre-order discount the massive discount so all the offers links are mentioned in the description below with that being said i'll catch you later peace out